This time I decided to go for a more natural theme since the last time, so I've done pretty colorful cage themes. And this one is a steps theme, like a grassy land kind of thing. And half of it I'm going to do more green and then the other more like beige and brown. A few weeks ago I put up a Q&A box on my Instagram story, so I'm going to answer some questions on there and then talk about a few things. One of the most common questions I get is if I have lids. So I just want to say that yes I do have lids. You can see one of them in the far left corner, or not corner, to the far left. I just can't have them lean, leaning up against the wall because there are windows there and with plants I can't Someone commented and asked what I do like before I put everything in and I basically just like remove all of the items in the cage besides her hides. You can see a few of them burrowed like between the coconut soil and the bedding and then there's another one at the back in the bedding but I let those be in the same place and then also these substrates normally are in the same places. First question is how old are you? I am 16 and then the next question is what do I work with and I still go to school. What does butterfly taste like? And she tastes exactly like cookies. <laughs> then someone asked what I use to eat my hamsters and I use fork and a knife like every other person. This is a joke I haven't actually eaten my hamsters. Chicken or beef? I hate beef so chicken and I don't really like any other meats than chicken. Have you ever eaten snails? Um, of course not. I hate snails. They're so gross. I like spiders and snakes and all those animals. I just don't like snails. Why doesn't butterfly have wings? And yes, she does have wings. I have many pictures of her with wings. It's almost a month since I filmed this video and I'm sorry it's taken so long, but I've just uh, <laughs> honestly forgotten to like make the voiceover and like said I'm doing it tomorrow and then I completely forget but this one will be posted soon and then I have another one coming maybe a week after this one and then next week or week after that I will be making yet another theme for butterfly and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do but maybe like some forest thing with a pond and some flowers because I'm getting an order with more flowers and stuff from Mixorama soon so I'm very excited for that. This week we got a kiln um, to bake ceramics in and we also got some clay so I will be able to make some hides and mushrooms and stuff soon when we get that to work and getting the kiln here was took it took so long we had to like lift it up from someone's basement onto a pallet thing and then get that out with a tractor and some stuff it took almost no it took over four hours to get it from their basement into our basement so when all that is finished or ready to be used i can make my own items for the themes i want to do so then it will be a little more open on what i can do i really want to make like a cottage hide to make a snow white inspired theme like in the forest with a cottage and stuff and then i also thought about doing like a sky theme like with clouds and stuff maybe not that yet and then also a big forest a uh, mushroom forest with like 
giant mushrooms and stuff like that since I already have like 10 mushrooms but if it's gonna be a mushroom, mushroom forest I will need some more I when I get the mushroom order and I can make some stuff in the kiln and stuff I'm going to be doing a giveaway most likely uh, where I'm I will also make some hides from wood and then whoever wins can like get a custom painting and stuff on it so it will probably be some herbs hides and a platform and maybe some clay items not sure as i said earlier i have a video that i'm gonna post in about a week but after that one i am thinking of doing a cage reacting reacting videos so i i'm not haven't decided like where you can send the cages and stuff so like in case you want me to react to your cage you can like think about it or something <laughs> when i posted the pictures of this cage on instagram i got a few questions on the sprays that i used grassy ones so the brown beige ones i got from mix mama and then the more green ones I'm holding right now is ones that I found outside in a forest. So if you find some grass sprays, you can take them and then boil them for a few minutes and dry them. And they will be safe to use for your hamster. And I've done this a few times now. And they exist in like a lot of different colors. So you can get like green ones and then more beige ones. And once and then I found also some purple and red toned ones um they normally turn yellow after like a while but when they are pretty fresh they are really nice to use in your cage I hope you enjoyed this video I have talked about so many different things I hope you kept up but Thank you so much for watching.